All right, really quick, I would like to take some time to talk about if you're getting yourself together and you're preparing to go to the doll shows, you know, as the next couple months start ramping up, you'll start getting what well, we're in March, you got April, May, June. So, you know, some people got a couple, like three months or so to start getting ready for doll shows. I don't know all the exact dates. I know there is the uh, doll world of dolls expo and kansas doll show and stuff like that i don't know all the names of them but um i used to attend doll shows i most likely won't be at any this year however um i just want to give some tips out for my from my previous experience because of a lot of people are you know asking me am you know am i going or Who's going and a lot of my uh, Dolly friends in the community or Dolly sis in the community are planning to go for the first time this year. So just really quickly, if you're planning on taking a baby with you or multiple babies with you, um, I personally didn't like taking too many babies with me because I like to be able to, you know, if, have room to shop and bring a baby back. Or also, I didn't want to have to be, you know, responsible for making sure my baby doesn't get stolen or anything at the doll show. And that does, that can happen. Babies can get stolen at doll shows. Um, but um, a few things that I found that was helpful. I have done the, um, the slings for babies that were okay to go in the slings. Um, especially my most expensive ones, like when I had my silicone babies, I kept them in a sling. Um, I have traveled with strollers when I was driving. I brought my own stroller and I put the baby in there. If you have a like a rear facing stroller, I suggest you turn the baby towards you. That way when someone walk up to you, they actually have to ask to see the baby. That way you can quickly give a disclosure, you know, okay, I'm gonna show you, but please don't touch, you know. I don't know how you can say it nicely, but I, you know, I know a lot of people do share and you hold each other babies and people like to, you know, feel, you know, if you got silicone or reborns, they wanna touch their hair, they wanna feel their texture. And so a lot of people do a lot of touchy-feely. So if you're one of those people that's very funny about your dolls, and I'm one of those, then you probably don't want to take a lot of dolls with you. And if you do, you probably want to have your baby in like a sleeper or like covered up as much as possible, but not too covered up so that you can at least show the baby paintwork off and stuff like that. I, you know, but... Just for me personally, if it was one of, like we had times where we would just sit together and undress our babies and people would like look them over and all that and stuff. But for the most part, it's like a fashion show, best dressed babies scrolling around in the strollers. And I liked my babies fully like dressed and pretty much covered for the most part. Like I said, mainly like, just so people won't be doing all this rubbing and touching on them. Unless you're going to be able to be more, you know, firm by saying, you know, please be gentle or please do not touch. Um, I used to be like, be gentle, but then I got to the point where it was like, do not touch. Because people, dolls have gotten damaged at doll shows. So people are not going to take care of your things like you do. Sometimes people want to pull their fingers. They want to pull on them. They want to squish them. Um, you know, I've had people with long nails, <laughs> so it, touching my silicone and trying to squish it and nail, your, hey, your nail going into my silicone, like really. Um, so, and it's not to scare you, but I'm just saying, you know, sometime you can expect that type of stuff. But the fun part about it is that you will get to see so many babies there not just ones that's on display, 
not just babies from artists that are vendors. You're when you go to a, a doll show, you get to see artist work that's not there because collectors bring their babies, personal babies with them to the show. So the show is just amazing. It's so worth going to doll shows. I'm not promoting any particular show because like I said, I am not going, but I just, you know, I just know that I always have a great experience hanging out with actual other collectors and stuff like that. Um, traveling, um, I've had a couple incidents that, you know, I, listen, we can have story time on that, but I, really fast, I've had where a lady purposely tried to steal my bag with my doll in it. She knew I had the doll in it. She watched me on the plane. She grabbed my bag. I told her, I said, hey, excuse me. I went to grab for my bag and it was gone and I noticed she had it. And I said, that's my bag. And she was like, no, 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 this is my bag. I said, nope, that is my bag. And I had to have security stop her and she was saying it was her bag. And I said, nope, I have a doll in that bag. And eventually I got my bag back. I actually... Um, had to kind of chase her down a little bit. So that was, that was a crazy experience. And also the other time was, uh, security stopped me because the baby went through the scan in the bags and they, this particular baby had a skull, spine, um, squishy tummy. It was silicone, of course. And they, it looked like a ultrasound when it went through the scan. And so they had to do pull out all these color testers to rub on the doll and this and that. And it, it was just, it was a mess. It was a big hold up and all these officers came. And first they asked me, did they want, did I want to be checked and investigated in, in a private room or, you know, was I okay to do it publicly? And I was like, it's fine. I'm standing right out here. And, um, but anyway, I suggest that if you can keep your dolls on you on your in your carry-on I had one in a sling and then I had one in a carry-on because I did not want to you know send my luggage off with my babies in but I do know collectors that do put their their babies in their luggage and whatever you call it check it in um, so there's that um travel with minimum stuff I, I that's my thing you know leave room in your 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 luggage so that you can have stuff back but most people know that when they travel anyway that do a lot of traveling i don't travel as much um i actually never had been on a plane until i decided to go to denver colorado to a doll show and it was very scary but very exciting at the same time um what else i would say um, pack light, keep your babies on you when you leave your hotel room. If you can't take your baby with you, either have one of those the with the lock, the uh, combination lock thing and put your babies in there or make sure you, you, you know, put them in a, your bag or whatever and cover them so that the housekeeping or put your sign do not disturb on your hotel room so that the housekeepers does not come in your room because people are very fascinated with these dolls. A lot of them have never seen them before. Um, it could be very tempting for people to walk away with your dolls and you don't want that. Um, we like to think that most of collectors and artists and stuff and people that are going to the doll show is honest but sometimes that is not the case and sometimes people are not within the community is in that hotel and stuff so you know you just want to be careful um and you know if you have you know you're with friends use your buddy system you guys you know keep an eye on each other babies and your strollers and stuff like that because you get distracted talking to friends, turn your back on your doll, um, or you're buying another doll or item clothes or whatever you're into. And then, you know, you're not paying attention. So, um, that's just, you know, one of my 
you know, my things, I think. So other than that, that's probably my biggest thing is that you want to tell, you know, try to keep people and say, be gentle, you know, with your dolls. Um, if you're one of those people that don't mind people touching all of your dolls, then you're fine. Um, I want to say the first year I went, I did not travel with a doll. Did I? I don't know. I didn't. I don't think I traveled with a doll. Um, because... Yeah, I did not travel. And I think about it. I did not travel. The first year, I did not take a doll. And I absolutely loved it, to be honest. I came back with one because I bought one while I was there. But, yeah. So, I hope that you guys, um, a lot of you guys are getting to go. You know, leave in the comment section. If you're going to the doll show, which doll show are you going to? Um, a lot of people are going to be taking classes, painting classes, rooting classes, lots of excitement. Oh my gosh. And of course, the videos on YouTube, I literally wish that I felt like doing it. It's just so much work for me to try to travel. So I'm just not doing it, but it's, it's going to be nice. And I know a lot of people are going to share their videos and their pictures and all that stuff but if you're going just you know or talk to other people that's been to doll shows or watch old doll show videos and see you know kind of get an idea how it is so i i think that it's wonderful um make sure you when you get there you know if you're gonna have to use a shuttle make sure you find out what time the shuttle is leaving out what time you know what time it comes in what time it's leaving out Especially when, if you're going to use the shuttle to get to and from the airport. You want to make sure you know that so you're out and ready to go and you don't miss your flight. Um, just simple stuff. I know that you guys know, but I just thought I'd do a quick video on it and just talk about it. Um, but again, I highly recommend doll shows. Um, just for, if you, even if you just go one time for the experience. And... That's it. I'm trying to, I don't, I'm trying to think if I think of anything else. Um, uh, 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 um, yeah, that's it. Oh, if you're an artist and you're not being a vendor, make sure you take a piece of your work to the show if you want to show your work, because you still can show your work on the floor, people will see your babies. So it's like free advertisement. Um, you cannot sell, normally they have a rule, the artist, if you're not a vendor, you cannot sell at a doll show usually. But does it stop you from sharing your work? So there's that too. Um, what else? That's it. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.